So here's a quick little review of my 2014 Camaro SS Spring Special Edition. Uh, it's all the same. Um, overall, meh. I think this is my eighth car I've owned. And right before this, I had a BMW 335i, a 2013 or 2012. But um, one thing that I thought I'd be overwhelmed with was the power of this car. So it's a V8, obviously, um, 400 whatever horsepower it is, 360, 400, whatever. It don't feel that fast. Maybe it's me, maybe I'm used to it. I had my BMW tuned, so it was pretty quick. Like that felt fast to me. This, I mean, I think it's faster, but I don't feel like it's faster at all. I'm never scared, I'm never uh, intimidated by this car. And when I do floor it, it doesn't give me the same feeling as it did in the BMW. And the BMW was rear wheel drive, it wasn't X drive. So, I don't know. Um, usually, all the cars I've bought, I bought them because I wanted them. I did always want a Camaro. I used to work at the dealership when this car came out. I was like, I don't know, 16. And when I saw these, I really wanted one. It was like a dream car, whatever, whatever. Flash forward 10 years and I got one. So, okay, before I go any further, Camaros where I live, V8 Camaros especially, they're not easy to come by. They're like, there's three on sale on Auto Trader right now and only one is manual. So these cars are very difficult to find. And if you do find it, it's probably a manual or a V6. So of course I wanted a manual, but when I was looking for this, when I bought this car, I wasn't necessarily looking for a Camaro. I just stumbled across it. It was a really good price, like under what it should have been. And uh, I kind of just jumped on it because I was like, damn, I've always wanted one. Everything seems right, let's do it. I've owned it for not even 10 months. I have put, let me just take a look real quick, almost 16,000 kilometers on it in uh, eight, nine months maybe, can't remember. And my, uh, I've taken on long road trips, hour long road trips, I think went on an eight hour road trip in this thing. I put sound insulation everywhere on the ceiling, up for the stars, I upgraded a subwoofer, did a bunch of stuff to make it more of my car, but it never gave me that like i don't know feeling that car guys know like this is a feeling a car gives you and you get i'm happier looking at this car than i am driving this car i don't know man it's it's sick don't get me wrong it's sick like you get a lot of attention a lot of people like comment on it and whatever whatever but it, there's no fizz there's no it doesn't make you excited doesn't it you hit the gas Passengers seem to think it's really quick and I think that's a thing that's just common is as a driver You don't feel it as much as the passenger does because you're anticipating it or whatever Even doing donuts burnouts all that kind of stuff the BMW was far more fun more controllable <clears throat> Yes, the suspension in this car sucks ass It's nothing like the BMW was but I didn't expect that so I was debating on either putting a lot of money into it, buying coil lovers for this car, buying sway bars, making it a better handling car. But then I was like, why would I dump all that money into it if it doesn't excite me in the first place? There's no, yeah, again, I can't explain it. There's no fizz, it's just, it was nothing. Um, so moving on. Uh, I've owned a car for three months. This, I think, is the second shortest time period of owned a car. This would be, uh, about it, December of last year. And right now, it's early November, like November 2nd, I think. So yeah, no, that's 11 months. Not even a year. I think they won't oil change since I own this thing. Um, and nothing else service-wise. But yeah, the stars is cool. Yeah, the looks is cool. Yeah, the power is cool. The f Dude. I'm just gonna talk about it. I think if this was manual, it would change things. I think it would be a lot better if this was a manual. But because it's an automatic and it's got that four cylinder mode, it goes on and off without telling you, it's, that gets annoying. You feel it on the gas pedal. Like you'll feel the four to go to eight, four to go to eight. And it, it just, 
this sounds stupid too out the back. Um, if it was a manual, probably would have enjoyed it a lot more. But again, the circumstances, this car came available. I didn't think much of it. canyons on the weekends i don't even cruise on the weekends it's literally my daily driver and that's all it's been for a long time so yeah it's time to depart um